The Giants quit. They have quit on their quarterback. They have quit on the season. This is a Giants team that did not face adversity well. Early in the season, they lost the Cowboys, but they said, don't worry, we'll get Odell Beckham back. And then they had a Lions team at home, and they lost that one as well. And they said, don't worry, we're going to have a healthy Odell Beckham. Don't worry, we'll get it figured out. We're 0-2. And guys said, teams have started 0-2 before. Hey, how about the 07 Giants won a Super Bowl starting 0-2? Then they lost the Eagles. And they said, don't worry, it's going to be a great story. We're going to be 0-3, and we're going to make the playoffs. And then they were 0-4. And they said, don't worry, we can still run the table. And then they played the Chargers, and they lost Odell Beckham. And they lost Brandon Marshall. And they had these injuries. And suddenly, 0-5, and and the season was over. And they essentially quit on the season right there. They got that fluky win in Denver. But the season, the Giants have not handled any of this well in terms of not being where they wanted to be. And they are front runners. And that comes from your coach as well, that he's not able to keep them focused. And I don't care about the injuries. It's fine to say we're not as good as we should be because we lost Odell Beckham. That's fine. You could say we don't have the offensive line. We should because of Jerry Reese. That's fine. The guys have to also want to play hard for the coach. They have to have a reason to play hard. They have to have a reason to go out there on Sunday and still beat each other up. And guess what? They don't because they have quit on Ben McAdoo. He does not have their ear. He has guys going AWOL. He's had to suspend DRC. Janoris Jenkins has gone AWOL as well. And yesterday, watching Eli Apple's effort that was highlighted on Sunday Night Football during halftime. When you see third and 33 converted on you on a bubble, a third and 33 wide receiver screen, that's all you need to know. Ben McAdoo needs to be fired. Jerry Reese needs to be fired because there's a cancer inside the Giants clubhouse. It needs to be cut out. Those two guys are beyond help. The team is beyond help. You must start over. They have tuned out their coach. They will not come back for him. This is dead man walking the rest of the season. They're not going to pull Eli Manning. He's three starts away from passing Peyton Manning for the second longest consecutive game started streak ever. They're not going to pull Eli, even though they do have rookie Davis Webb in there that they could start. They'll let Eli get that record because the Wellington Mara, John Mara, Steve Tisch, that whole family organization that has run this organization forever loves Eli. And it comes down from Wellington, who obviously has passed. It comes down to the family, and they're going to want to do right by a guy like Eli that has got two championships, the same way they wanted to do right by Tom Coughlin. They're going to let Eli start this, probably get that record. But the final three weeks of the season, you might see Davis Webb because Eli Manning looks like toast. He looks like toast. It is bad. And I laugh. Because remember last week when Ben McAdoo told Mike Francesa on WFAN. You know, around, I'm the beacon of light and I'm the beacon of hope. I'm the beacon of light. I'm the beacon of hope. The beacon of light just coached his team to the worst loss in Giants history in the regular season since 1964. You know, around, I'm the beacon of light and I'm the beacon of hope. The beacon of light, the beacon of hope, just coached his team to a 51-17 drubbing at home where half the stands were empty and the other half emptied out by halftime. But, oh, don't worry. Ben McAdoo's the beacon of light, the beacon of hope. You know, around, I'm the beacon of light and I'm the beacon of hope. I mean, what a joke. What a joke.